Hello everyone and welcome back to Campfire Women. Today we're going to show a full day of eating while camping. We went on a one day camping trip and we're going to show you everything that we ate. We're starting with some preparation for the camping trip. I bought these four grilling steaks at Costco. We are going to marinate the steaks or just add the seasoning to the steaks so that we don't have to bring the seasoning with us. And also this way the seasoning can soak into the steak longer while it sits in the cooler. We are just gonna start with some garlic. We originally planned for these steaks to be breakfast steaks. So I chose some non-offensive seasonings that would work with uh, breakfast flavors. I love garlic and most people I know love garlic so I was very generous when I was spreading the garlic onto the steaks and I think it turned out great so I recommend adding a lot of garlic. Just for convenience I'm only adding the garlic to one side of the steak but I actually recommend adding it to both because I wish I had done that. Next I'm adding some fresh cracked black pepper. I actually wish that we had added more pepper. Steak really needs a lot of salt and pepper, and we could have been more generous, so next time we would add way more pepper. Next I'm adding some parsley, and honestly I just added parsley because I have it. I don't know if it really added that much to the taste, but uh, I was just using seasonings that I had around the house um, rather than buy some specific steak seasoning. I was also very generous with the uh, dehydrated onion and I don't regret that. I think the onion taste really came out really nicely on the steaks. Um, and they kind of add a little bit of crunchy bits on top of the steak, so I highly recommend adding this. Next is just some regular table salt. Like I said earlier, I wish we had added more salt. And we didn't bring any with us on the camping trip. We actually ended up borrowing salt from one of our neighbors who was very, very, very nice. As a last ingredient, I'm adding a bit of olive oil just to help the mixture mix onto the steak really well um, and also to kind of add some lubrication when we put it in the pan. Now I am adding each individual steak to a Ziploc bag. Um, if I had a larger Ziploc bag, I would have put them in all together, but unfortunately I only had these small ones. So I put each steak into its own Ziploc bag and then I tried to mix it up so that the seasoning would get to the other end of the steak and um, mix in really nicely. And then we put them in the cooler just like this. I recommend doing your meat like this. You can do it with any kind of meat. You can pre-marinate it and put it in Ziploc bags. And that will just save you time once you get to your campsite. And also, like I mentioned earlier, you don't need to bring your seasonings with you. So we are definitely going to do this technique again, and it's great for camping. We got to our campsite around 5 or 5.30 in the evening, and we immediately started building a fire so that we could make dinner. For dinner, in addition to the steak, we used rice, a bouillon cube, carrots, onion, potato, garlic, butter, rosemary, thyme, and oregano. To make the rice was actually very simple. We just put the rice in a pot and then added enough water so that there was double the amount of water as rice and then we added one chicken bouillon cube to the pot and we put the rice over the fire like that um, and let it boil. I was surprised that the rice was actually so easy to cook over a fire. I thought that with the heat distribution being a bit uneven that maybe the rice wouldn't cook evenly but the rice turned out perfectly and we didn't even really put much effort into it. We just threw the pot over the fire and you know, checked on it 20 minutes later and the rice was perfectly fluffy and ready. While the rice is cooking, we are going to go ahead and prep some vegetables. So we cut up a potato, an onion, some garlic, and a carrot. 
We cooked our first steak in a pan with some butter. The key here is to get the butter nice and hot before you add the steak. We were actually quite annoyed by the handles of these pans and pots. The first time we used them in the last video, the handles stayed put, but for some reason this time they kept flapping around, so um, we were quite unhappy with the quality of these pots after using them the first time. After we finished cooking the first steak in the pan, we actually decided to set up our other grill so that we could do the other two steaks directly onto the grill so that we could use our pan for the vegetables instead. We put all the vegetables in a pan together, um, the onions, potato, carrot, and garlic, and we also added a little bit of rosemary, thyme, and oregano to the pan. Here is our nice fluffy rice that's completely finished. We just mix it up a little bit um, to mix the last bit of the bouillon cube into the rice. And the bouillon cube also is very salty, so the rice ended up being nice and salty and fluffy. As you can see, the other two steaks we just put directly onto the fire, and this gave us some nice grill marks, and actually it's much easier to cook the steaks this way. So we much prefer doing it this way compared to the pan with butter. We cooked the steaks until they were about medium well. Uh, the girls liked the steaks cooked a little bit more than I would normally cook them, but that's okay. We let the steaks rest for five whole minutes before we decided to cut into them. And now the whole meal is finished. So we have steak, we have very fluffy rice, and we also have some really nice vegetables for the side. We had more than enough food and this was a really great campfire dinner. Uh, we would definitely make this particular meal again, but next time I would marinate the steaks for longer and I would also add salt and pepper to, more salt and pepper to the mix. We spent the rest of the night drinking beer from Perth Brewery and uh, roasting marshmallows and sitting next to the fire. Good morning! Now it's time for some breakfast. The last two trips we went on, we woke up early, but this time there weren't as many loud birds near our campsite, so we managed to sleep in until well past nine. Of course, we started by putting on a pot of coffee. We used some filtered coffee that we brought with us and added a Nescafe coffee packet to the brewed coffee. We started by warming up a pan of butter and then we tried cracking an egg into it and doing a sunny side up egg, but our pan wasn't non-stick enough for that, so we ended up just doing scrambled eggs, which was completely fine. We used our little grate thing to cook uh, breakfast on again because this allows us to get closer to the fire, so we've been really enjoying using this. We made some toast to go with our eggs, and we also added leftover steak from the previous night. So we had an amazing breakfast of steak, eggs, and toast. We also had our brewed coffee with our breakfast, and it was just a really amazing high-protein breakfast that we had before we went on a nice hike and it kept us really full and really energetic throughout the hike. After breakfast, we had some really nice green tea over the fire while we made our lunch to take with us. We're just using Twining's green tea. And actually, one of my favorite things lately has been tea brewed over a campfire. I think there's really just something warm and special about that.
For lunch, we made chicken breasts and some carrots uh, to go with leftover rice from last night. The chicken breasts are marinated in the same rosemary, thyme, and oregano that we used uh, yesterday on the vegetables. For the carrots, we just added a little bit of water, rosemary, and salt, and boiled until the water was gone and just the carrots were left. We chopped up the chicken breasts after they were cooked and had rested for five minutes and we put them and the carrots as well in the pot where the rice was from last night. And we just took this pot with us to eat after our hike. That's everything that we ate on this one day camping trip. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Please check us out at Campfire Women on Instagram and Facebook. Oh, 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 oh no, not again. Chicken chop and chop. Subscribe to Campfire Women. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>